All right, guys, I wanted to do a quick review on this piston ring compression tool. I got it off Amazon for about 10 bucks. I'll leave a link in the description below. What you get is you get the compressor, an Allen wrench, and some pliers for the piston rings. I didn't use this. I just used my hands. But if you need to use it, take a, take a ring off or on. You just put it in here and squeeze, opens and closes. So after you got your rings on the piston, make sure that the rings openings are offset. You don't want them in a straight line. Just I got one here, one back here, one down here, one over here. What you want to do is you want to open this tool up to where it'll fit over top. Right now it doesn't fit. So to release that, there's a little lever here. When you press it, it'll open up. So then you slide the ring in. And once you got all the rings inside of this compressor, you can take the wrench and you can start tightening it. As you tighten it, it will compress the rings. Just keep an eye on that the rings are still inside the actual slots. So it's looking pretty good. I usually try to get as tight as I can. I might be able to get one more click out of that. It went, you couldn't hear the click, it was slow. So now that we got all the rings compressed, we can go ahead and insert this into the engine. All right, I got my zero turn mower engine right here. I did put some oil in it to get a little bit of um, lubrication so it'll slide in easier. Now on your piston ring, you have an arrow that needs to face the top of your engine. This is the top. So we're going to insert the piston ring or the piston and make sure this compressor tool is butt up against the engine. You don't want any space or a ring will probably break. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold pressure down on this compressor tool to make sure it doesn't separate from the engine. I'm going to take the soft side of a hammer and tap on the cylinder head. You don't need to hit on it hard. If you hit on it really hard, you need to stop and reset. And there you go. Like I said, if you hit really hard with a hammer or get stuck, just take everything out, reset, start again. You will break a piston ring. I did that earlier. So just light taps, it'll go in. And that's how you use a piston ring compressor. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.